Welcome to Jimbo's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, I get a lot of comments, people wanting to know what type of hinges, what type of lock boxes that I use on my gates. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to discuss that. We'll talk about hinges, we'll talk about lock boxes and installation. So let's go over to the, de to the uh, desk. <coughs> All right, so let's go over to the workbench and take a closer look. Today's video is sponsored by King Metals. They've got all your fabrication needs in one location. From hinges to hardware, balusters to metal decor, brass to aluminum, and a whole lot more. You name it, they've got it. Check them out today at kingmetals.com. Now let's get back to today's video. All right, we're over here at the workbench and I have in front of me here laid out just a few of the different sizes they have in the weld on hinges right here. Now these particular ones are steel. They're also available in stainless steel and aluminum. Now you see the two, you see the, the various different sizes and this is what I like about this. Depending on the application that you could be using it for, these smaller ones uh, be more like barbecue doors or something small, however, they got a weight factor of 400 pounds per hinge. And the medium sized ones right here could be for a light or medium duty gate. And their weight load is about 600 pounds right there. And of course the bigger ones, this is a, a seven inch hinge right here. Uh, the seven inch hinge has about an 850 pound capacity. Now this is, this is the size that I'm using similar on the gate over there. Uh, that's a heavy gate. The particular wood that I'm using in that gate is tiger wood, and that's a real heavy type of, uh, of wood, and the gate itself is fairly large. So I wanna have a larger hinge that's gonna support that weight, and that's what I've used on that particular uh, gate over there. But you can see the different sizes for different applications is what I like about them. Let's take a look at one of these hinges. This is the bigger one right here. And what I like about them is how easy they are to install. You can see they've got a thickened edge right here on both sides of the hinges. One of those sides gets welded to the gate, the other side gets welded to the post. They've got this nice brass bushing in here to support this thing, that this thing rides on it and spins and pivots nice and easily, as well as a grease cert on the top and keep everything lubricated. This is a pretty good size pin in here. Yeah, this is a big hinge, and the smaller you go, uh, the pins get a little bit smaller, but it's basically the same type of application. Really good. I've been using these for years now, and, I, and I'm exclusively using these hinges. I find they work the best for me, and uh, overall, they're just, they're just great products to have, especially when you're building gates. All right, so back over here to the lock boxes. I get a lot of people ask me about these lock boxes and how do you make those boxes? And you know, the thing is, is I don't make them. These things right here are available, kingmetals.com. They already pre-made and you can see that this particular one is a double box. It is for a, a lock itself and a deadbolt system. And you, you can see how well that they're made right here. The hardware just adapts to it. It's got a stopping flange right here, and they do come in different thicknesses, uh, inch and five eighths, and then down to some of the smaller ones. I think this is about an inch, maybe an inch and a, uh, a quarter. Um, and this is a single box, and you can see that they have different styles for a single lock, and again, different styles for the double lock. All of these locking boxes right here accommodate the standing, the standard uh, locking assembly that's available on the market. And that's what makes it really convenient. Um, one thing too also is like, like I had mentioned, there's different thicknesses here depending on the size of the gate frame that you are working on, uh, which makes it really nice as well. Most of the stuff I use is at least inch and a half to two inch. So I use the inch and five eighths. Uh, that is the, the, the thicker one right here. So when we talk about installation for these lock boxes, uh, they have to be built uh, along with the gate frame. So if you're making your frame size and you've got your three sides that you're making, the side that the lock is gonna be on needs to be incorporated in. In other words, you're gonna build this lock box in with part of the frame. Uh, the reason why you're gonna do that is 
you don't want it to flex. Uh, I've done it the hard way and I've made the frame and then cut the opening out and tried to put the box in. It just doesn't work that way. So the best way to do it is to build your frame and build this in with your frame. That works the best. All right, I hope you guys got some valuable information regarding gate hinges and gate lock boxes. If you're looking to build a gate and you need some gate hardware, hinges, decor, whatever it may be, check out kingmetals.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.